Land Rover is on a journey. We are in the process now of creating a whole new generation of products. And for the first time in our history, we are being afforded the ability to look at this vision of the future in an analytic way, rather than just look at one vehicle at a time. It's been a huge challenge for the Land Rover engineers to replace the icon that is Range Rover. Our brief was to maintain Land Rover at its heart and improve the off-road capability of the vehicle, whilst also transforming the on-road capability and making the vehicle fully competitive with the world's best luxury saloons. Now, when you actually talk to our customers about Range Rover, they're incredibly loyal and they say, you say, how would you like to see the new one? How would you like to see it change? They say, don't change it, just make it better. That iconic silhouette is there, but it's lower, it's sleeker, it's longer. But all for good reasons. For example, the wheelbase is longer, which affords us better entry and exit out of the rear door. We did benchmarking in seven countries with nine key benchmarking vehicles. And we covered temperatures from minus 40 up in Norway and Sweden to temperatures of plus 52 degrees down in Dubai and the Middle East. The vehicle is up to 420 kilograms lighter. A big chunk of this comes from the aluminium body that's 200 kilograms lighter than the outgoing vehicle. Taking that amount of weight out of the body shell also enables us to downsize the engines and we call this the virtuous weight circle. We take weight out, we downsize the engines, we maintain the performance whilst improving the fuel economy. We wanted to make sure that we had effortless power and torque in reserve so that the drive always seemed refined. Range Rover is recognised for its off-road capability and our challenge was to further improve that and make it more capable and more composed. Range Rover now includes auto-terrain response, effectively takes readings from the vehicle temperature, the road surface, how the driving style is, and it automatically selects the appropriate programme to be driving in. When you look at the comparison from the existing vehicle to the new one, it is more of an elegant proportion because it's a bit longer in the wheelbase, the overall length is slightly longer, it's got a faster screen angle which talks to aerodynamics, it's got more plan shape in the front, it's got more what we call boat tail at the back, so it just slips through the air better. We wanted to give the um, characteristic imperious ride quality that Range Rover has, the magic carpet feel to it, but we also wanted to balance that with significantly improved on-road handling. When we go to the interior of the vehicle, it's much more pared down. The less is more approach. We've reduced the switch count by nearly 50%. And what that's all about is making it much more intuitive. All the technology is there, but it's far more integrated. So as a consequence, you have an interior that is far more harmonious in terms of its overall impression that it creates. The all-new Range Rover is a fabulous vehicle. Great design, great engineering integrity. The best has got better. And it's a tribute to the designers and the engineers that have created it.